Hi, I'm Chris Hearn, the founder and CEO of Fountainhead Commercial Capital. Today I want to talk to you a little bit about some of the uh, recent concerns or objections I've heard uh, from some of the projects we've been working on. Um, this is a way that I think we can kind of clear the air on some things. So before we jump into what we issue, our pre-approvals and our commitment letters, let's talk about our credit quality first. So when you have a project that's a multi-purpose project, uh, so this could be office, industrial warehouse, building, things like that, medical office, etc. We want to see at least 1.1 times debt service coverage. Now this is a ratio that most commercial lenders use. Uh, we don't need to get into it right now on this video, we'll do it some other time. But suffice to say, 1.1 times cash flow is what we want to see. On special purpose properties like hotels or daycares or freestanding restaurants, we want to see 1.25 times coverage or better. Now, the concern comes in how long do we need these, these DSCRs to be out there? And the reality is we want to see it on the last fiscal year tax return. Plus, we want to see it in the most recent interim period, the interim financials, the, the P&Ls. So that's pretty much it. A lot of other lenders out there want to see a couple years at those debt service coverage ratios or better. Um, we just want to see it in the most recent fiscal year plus in the interim period. So that's, that's it in that regard. Uh, we also want to see 650 FICO scores for the borrowers or better. If you're a little bit light, let, you know, less than that, uh, we want to see some pretty heavy documentation explaining what it was, uh, that why the credit bureaus are, are dinging you in that regard. So it's all ways that we try to determine how much of a credit risk you are. Will you pay us back or not? That's really the, the fundamental question that every lender has to ask. So the other things I've heard lately is uh, issues depending on uh, loan to value versus loan to cost. We generally finance projects loan to cost uh, under the 504 program. So what that means is we're taking the purchase price of real estate, for instance, um, plus the closing costs, and whatever that number is, we're financing 90% of it. In the case of renovations, uh, if you were doing renovations to a multi-purpose project, we would take the renovations, the hard renovation costs, plus the purchase price, plus any soft costs associated with it, closing costs, et cetera, and again, apply 90% as the loan on that project, requiring a true 10% down of the project cost. It's a lot different than ordinary conventional commercial bank financing. Uh, tends to be you know, 70 to 80% loan to value, and then oftentimes they require the closing cost to come out of pocket from, from you, the borrower. So that's a, it's a little bit of a problem. I happen to think as an entrepreneur myself that capital is precious and you should preserve it as best you can. Uh, to use it for income producing means. So, and when you put more of it down than you need to, all that does is increase your risks while it's lowering the risks of your bank. So, it's a big difference between us and some of the folks that we compete against. So, some of the other things um, that you ought to be aware of, amortizations, that's the length of the loan, the period, the repayment period. Uh, we tend to do 25 years always on our first lien loans of a 504 project. Uh, whereas I'm hearing a lot of conventional uh, commercial mortgages out there are done at 15 or 20 year amortizations. Obviously the difference is the longer the amortization period, the lower the monthly payment and that helps you as the business owner. Um, the second lien loan on an SBA 504 are always going to be 20 years. Okay, That's the below market long term fixed interest rate period. Um, it'll be fixed for 20 years and unless it's, uh, unless it's a loan that's made on heavy equipment, in which case it would be 10 years. But in, when we're comparing commercial real estate transactions, it's gonna be 20 years, okay? So that's one issue I hear sometimes. So.